Hello Frakam Asya. So today I'm coming with a review on a limited edition from the House of Matriarch. It's called The Longing. A beautiful collaboration between Christian and Joseph Segona. Uh, they did a fantastic job on this one. So when I first received this, um, I started trying it and then they ran out. While I was trying it, every day I was trying uh, The Longing, I kept asking myself, why is this a limited edition? I was so anxious for people to, uh, more people to try this one because like I said, it is unique and it is a gorgeous fragrance. So now they have an encore edition so a second batch uh, limited edition still uh, you have the 50 mil and the 15 mil available um, and I'm sure they're gonna run out again so what do I get out of the longing so this to me is not a gourmand but is a sexy alluring well-crafted uh, aromatic amber with floral fruity accords without the fragrance being floral or too fruity per se uh, at the top, what I get is this herbal um, floral accord, uh, beautifully paired and contrasted with the plum and then the honey. The honey here is not sickly sweet, it's not sticky sweet, and the plum is not overly uh, fruity. Uh, just gorgeous pairing between the plum and then the honey here without overdoing the sweetness here along with the baronia here. So overall the fragrance feels dry and buttery at the same time which uh, makes it intriguing. Uh, the herbal uh, floral facet that I described in the beginning uh, is actually coming from the baronia here. From research it smells like um, it has a floral accor along with a dry tea leaf accor. So that's what I, I, I get out of the baronia here as well. The wearing of the fragrance, it tones down in the dry down but that's what you're going to get in the opening uh, for the first two hours. You're going to get this beautiful uh, herbal floral accord along with a beautiful uh, plum and honey note. In the distance you're going to get an amber non-sweet that announces itself. The amber here is mostly leathery and it grows over time with the plum and then the honey along with the baronia trailing it in the background uh, over time. So overall you get this beautiful uh, herbal floral facet uh, beautifully contrasted with the plum and then the honey and then you you get this amber uh, that is mostly leathery and a non-sweet. So overall the fragrance feels um, alluring, unique and then the beauty is in the contrast, the contrast between the three main accords that you get. So that um, fruity sweet accord coming from the plum and then the honey not overdone there, uh, the leathery accord coming from the amber and then that full herbal accord coming from the baronia there gorgeous contrast between these three accords, main accords there. Uh, as a point of reference, if you've tried uh, Tom Ford Tobacco Vanille, I'm not saying that they're the same, but they're the same in terms of contracts. Um, in Tobacco uh, Vanille, you get this beautifully high contrast between the tobacco and then the sweet um, vanilla accord there. You get the same contrast here in uh, in the longing, but um, the, sweet, the level of sweetness and smoothness is well harmonized uh, with the level of contrast that you get within the three of course that I mentioned the the honeyed uh, plum the herbal uh, floral core and then the ambery uh, accord that's mostly leathery that's pretty much what you get out of this fragrance and let me tell you this is well blended um, just gorgeous like I said it's not a gourmand to me but just as sexy well, this fragrance has a vintage aura because of the baronia I believe and then a playful aura that makes this really addictive in terms of performance, this one is the best performing fragrance that I tried out of the House of Matriarch. This one I can smell well into the next day within the same day. Projection and sillage is just above average. This is just gorgeous. It's persistent on my skin. It is not obnoxious, but it's there. Uh, definitely a great performer there. I get easily 10 hours plus, like I said, uh, projection and sillage six eight hours in you still smell this fragrance easily seasons i would say um fall i feel this one we uh, would be well suited for fall and winter because of the performance i don't see any issues there for occasions i would say this one is pretty unique uh it will go great with the uh, social events when you want to make a statement uh besides that um uh, I don't see myself wearing this one in the office uh, or in a formal event. It's just uh, super unique and then, uh, like I said, it's a statement fragrance there. And then it's not a slouch either in terms of her performance. So you have to keep that in mind. Now for rating, if I was going to rate this, I would easily give this an 8.5 out of 10. I think it is a great fragrance. Um, the reason I'm not giving it a 9 or a 10 is because of the versatility here. Like I said, um, this one, I feel like you wear it when you want to make a statement. 
I don't see myself wearing this one in the office or at a really formal event where I need to be a little bit more conservative. So overall, the Longing is a great fragrance. Uh, congratulations to Joseph Segona for pulling this one along with uh, Christy there. Uh, beautiful contrast within the main accords that I uh, mentioned, the honeyed plum, uh, the leathery core from that deep amber, and then that full herbal accord from the baronia there. Just gorgeous. Um, alluring, unique stuff, well-balanced, like I said. Um, congratulations to Joseph. Uh, for people that are still looking to this, uh, you have a, a second opportunity here. They have 15 mils and then 15 mil. The 15 mil will run you $80, which I think is not bad. Um, this is gonna go quick. I know it's gonna be a blind buy if you don't wanna take too much risk. The 15 mil is the way to go. Like I said, this is potent. So 15 mil, you're not gonna be uh, missing a lot there. Um, it's gonna be a great value for money there. So if you've tried uh, the longing, let me know what you think of it. Again, thank you for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe, and take care. Bye.